Hi everyone, it's Shavaya Loves Makeup and in this video I would like to share with you uh, the products that I'm using for summer, my summer foundation routine, you, can, you may call it, even though there is no foundation involved. Um, again, the premise of most of my videos is to um, decrease fine lines and wrinkles and to hide hyperpigmentation. So, but I wanted to keep it really light for summer. Um, I have found, I was using Estee Lauder du Double Wear, um, way too heavy, and I think it was breaking me out. Uh, and then um, I was using Aveda's um, Mineral Foundation for a very, very long time. I have found it very hard to find these days. So, um, and I also think it'll probably be too drying because my skin has become progressively drier over the years. So I'll just share with you what I am using. I saw a lot of YouTube uh, videos on this, Clinique's Moisture Surge SPF 15, and it's a tinted moisturizer. It is one fluid ounce, I believe. Um, sheer hydrating coverage, natural finish. Um, so it will not hide hyperpigmentation. I, I'll tell you exactly what I'm wearing on my face, and so it's a concoction of a couple of products. It's this uh, product in number three. And whenever I go to Clinique and let me know if you have the same experience, I always feel like, I don't know, they tr they put me in colors um, that are not an appropriate match. Maybe the selection is not wide enough, but I never have a good match with Clinique. Estee Lauder, I have had better experiences, but then I look at the saleswomen and then I realized, wow, they're matching me like they match themselves. And many of them are like super bronzed out. And, um, you know, they're using a lot of bronzer. And no wonder they want me. They are just, you know, instinctively putting, giving me a higher or a darker color than I would normally use. I don't use any bronzer on my body. If I get a tan, it's natural. I use high SPF, so I'm not going for a bronze look this summer. I know some people do that, but that's not me. So I go, try to go true to color um, and true to shade. So this is shade 03. I don't know what my MAC um, correlate is because I don't use MAC, but this is like a mid, mid shade, I think. Uh, to give you a little bit of a background, they, okay, Estee Lauder did mismatch me um, in the spring and they, uh, I bought Estee Lauder Double Wear Light because again the du regular Double Wear was way too heavy. It, it was a perfect match. It's fresco, perfect for I have been told I have neutral undertones, whatever, not warm or cold, but N neutral. Um, so Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, SPF 10, and they gave me Intensity 3. Um, and I think there's only like, at the time there were only four four or five different colors or maybe four and so this this is way too dark um i'm not even gonna you can just look at it i mean it made me look like an oompa loompa totally orange so what i ended up doing was mixing this with um this product you might be familiar with um leo Welly's triple the solution bb cream and these two together were a perfect match for me and i don't think they broke me out. I wore this combination during the spring. Um, this in and of itself is too gray for me or too pale. Um, even when I rub it in, you know, people say, oh, it matches to your natural skin tone. Um, it paled me out too much. So I, I don't know about you, uh, but if you are not pale, if you have some color, if you're a person of some color, um, I have found this to be successful because it only comes in one sh shade as far as I know. I don't know. Maybe they've changed it over time. Um, I've mixed this with something too dark. And now I'll tell you what I'm using. So I'm using this in conjunction with um, the Moisture Surge. Now this is not necessarily too dark for me, but it's not. it doesn't have enough coverage. So with these two together... I don't find that the Leo Welly fades out um, the tinted moisturizer. I think it's a nice complement, actually. Um, they work well in conjunction together, and I've been using it for the summer for a, 
a little while, not that long. So this is just an initial review. And um, oh, and underneath that, I'll just let you know I did when I went to Clinique. I not did I didn't get suckered. I was looking, and um, I know I need moisture over um, the summer months, even though and I have very dry skin. So I have. Clinique's dramatically different moisturizing gel. I just got the smaller version because I had terrible breakouts with this. This is an old product and I'm, I don't know if they've reformulated it, but 10 years ago when I got the lotion, um, it broke me out terribly. This is the gel. My skin's pretty dry, but it's it's warm where I am, it's humid. So this has been working really great. Um, just a little bit goes a long way. I put that on first, then I put these on and um, the last thing is I do a little bit of, um, I'm trying to get in some pretty good light, but I have covered my hyperpigmentation spots, um, in particular with, uh, concealer and I, there, it's also Estee Lauder, um, and I have so many different shades. So I just find the one uh, that works with that those levels of pigmentation on my face. So I've got actually several shades for several several different um, intensities of hyperpigmentation. So these are the really the darkest. So I will use the darker um, of the concealers that I have. And I didn't bring them with me, but I've got a couple of shades of Estee Lauder Double Wear um, concealer, which works pretty well. And the last thing that I got from um, Clinique that I used very sparingly because I don't think it's a, a good match <clears throat> and I'm tempted to trade it um, or to re to return it um, for the right match it's Stay Beige their Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder again 10 years ago this product made me really really oily this and the, the lotion it was a mess it was very bad for my acne prone skin but now that I'm dry and more I mean, more, I just have, you know, um, how shall I, mature skin. There you go. Um, your skin changes. So I thought I'd give this another try. I did tell the sales person that, you know, this stuff broke me out and it actually seemed to make me more oily. And when I read on makevalley.com that some people have the same experience as from 10 years ago, it, it actually makes them break out or it makes them oilier. Um, so I've been using this really sparingly. I don't know. I think it's a little too dark. Well, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't know. You won't be able to see it. Um, with a light hand and just a brush, um, a light powder brush, I use this in the morning to set, um, the products that I showed you. I don't use it again during the day. I do feel like I need a setting powder. Um, maybe... I think I look too dewy if I don't have it. So anyway, I, I guess, well, now that I've used it, I'll stay with number three, but I honestly think I should have probably picked up zero two because I'd feel more confident using more of the product. But I mean, you can, I'm in natural light now. You can see, I wish my webcam was better, um, you know, had better quality, but this is my face of the summer, I guess, and the products that I'm using, they've not yet broken me out. They're pretty good for hyperpigmentation and dry skin, in my opinion. If you'd like more information, please let me know. If you'd like to see um, me actually applying the makeup, I, I will do that too. Just let me know. Um, and um, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.